Hey guys, Dusty Baker with Cross Tuners Bison. Welcome back. What I'm gonna do is we are in the last phases of our water system and um, just got some rock hauled in. Got some one inch rock. And what I'm gonna do is we've got our tires ready. Um, I still gotta put the valve on and whatnot. No big deal, it won't take very long. But I'm gonna start pouring this rock or start moving this rock around our tires that's the next phase i kind of had to him dump the rock here in this low area you can see it's kind of muddy there's some water um, so whatever rock that i have left i'm going to go ahead and spread out because we actually drive through here this is one of our transition areas for the bison so we need some rock here anyways but i'm going to use this with the tractor and i'm going to start hauling in this rock and setting it around um the tire so that's kind of the next phase of this and that's where we're at at this point really once i do that i put the valve on my tires i already did one i've got the two left and then essentially it'll be ready to go and we'll uh start having the automatic waters going once i set those valves in there and the float with the water get it right and we can actually run these the next thing after that is uh, we're going to set more posts i'm going to put another post here and then a post there and we're going to run bars across here because um just as the last touch we want to be able to protect the plumbing so there will be some pipe run down the middle of this so we'll have to set some posts some two and seven eighths posts in the ground just to protect this uh plumbing eventually but in the meantime we can have them running and going so that the bison can start using the automatic water systems and then we can uh, do that stuff later. All right, here we go. That is fun. There's no telling anything like a tractor, me out here working, gets them all amped up, it's funny.
fun running around. Come check it out my work again. I haven't done nothing yet. So I've got my rock hauled in here. I got two dumps here. I've got two piles of it. So next thing is I'm just gonna use a shovel to kind of spread it around. I wanna get, now remember this is on a terrace, which I thought was a great idea. Clever, right? I, I'll take that credit, thank you. Um, I already built it on this terrace that existed here. And so I wanna get it to about right in here, about halfway up and then just slope it down we already had that natural slope from the terrace which is great so i just want this rock because what happens is we don't have a ton of bison we don't have a lot of bison but when they hit this and and bison don't drink all together at once i mean obviously they haven't had water in a while they'll come to it at once but or they'll come to it all together so they'll these bison will come and drink individually which won't have a lot of traffic but over time you don't want them trampling around and stomping on this and having it wet and muddy constantly because they always will have to come to this now we're using this as a rotational um, pasture or paddocks whatever you want to call it so this tire won't be used a hundred percent of the time but this water system will be used can be used on both sides that's why we did this so you don't want them trampling it over and over and having a muddy mess then it could actually screw the foundation of your tire up i'm assuming so um i'm just going to spread this out a way to have some contact because it'll this one inch right here will pack down over time it's this is little stuff but it'll pack down and the bison will naturally pack it down um as time goes on so i'm gonna start spreading this out is a mega flow float valve and this is a one inch float that I'm using which is attached to my one inch main line here what I've done is put a one inch coupling on it with a um, female mail in screw into the one inch this actually will pop off you can have its motor just to pop off clean the filter in it if you need to every now and then i think these are made in new zealand i got three of these i'm going to use them on all three of our tanks so and i've got this type of float some of you may be asking i got this float because instead of like a normal toilet tank float that has like an arm extended out like on a toilet instead of using that which one reason we didn't use that is because we were afraid that if they stepped on it or they hit it it would uh it would break and it would snap and the water would just continuous continually run here this will just float to the top and then once it stops it'll pull the shut off here and then it'll stop all right so i've got it screwed on this one is just a little crooked i will say one of the problems here on this tire specifically i didn't pay attention to where my tire is obviously in the center of the fence okay the problem i didn't do is my plumbing i didn't center my plumbing all the way i didn't trench far enough here ideally 
I think you'd want to have it in the center, which my other two tires are in the center. And so ideally you want the plumbing there in case they do try to get in here, they're not going to step on it and break it or anything. So that's kind of something that I was trying to watch and pay attention to, but I failed to do it here and that's my fault. So if you can, if you're going to do this, make sure you put it in the middle and then cover it is what we're going to do eventually. So now it's just ready to test the water. I've got the rock kind of laid out here, built up on this terrace and then test the water system, make sure it's good. And then also what we'll do is we're going to come back. We'll set a post here. We'll set a pipe here. We'll set a pipe right here and then we'll attach a bar across it here. Um, and that's just to strengthen the fence and the tire for support as well. And then you can also come back through. And like I said, if your plumbing's in the middle, you can have something over the top of it, like a two by six or some more pipe to keep the animals actually out of it. So um, here we're, we've got a bit of a risk on this side um, because the plumbing is here that they actually do get in it. So I'm gonna have to probably cover it up all the way over here just to keep them out of it. So I'm gonna hop in the ATV and we're gonna run down there. I say we're Maya and I are gonna run down here and see if the one in the bottom pasture is running too because they have the valve open for it too. Fingers crossed. So here we go. Come on, come on, hurry. Come on, you're dragging. Let's go. Slowing us down, Maya. Come on. Here, water. 